Hello, enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. I'm your host, Mike, here, and today we're going to look at one of my new favorite pens. It is a pen by Lamy, and it's the Safari, which you can see I already got it unboxed here. I have been using it for a while. I uh, wrote down some specs with the pen itself. I'm um, just going to give you my quick opinion and thoughts on it. Uh, do a quick, <laughs> if you want to call it a writing sample, I'll just say I'll write down a few words. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take it from here. So I did want to show you guys the packaging. I did keep this on purpose just because I thought it was actually pretty neat for uh, a pen of this, you know, caliper. It's I would say it's a pretty entry level fountain pen, between twenty and thirty dollars. And this is a special edition color. So this is the limited edition neon yellow in a fine nib. And I believe it was the twenty thirteen edition. Yeah, twenty thirteen. I got it written down right here. Um, but let's take a quick look at this. So this is what the pen does come in. It is minimally packaged. I do appreciate uh, it's fully recyclable, which is pretty awesome. So you can just toss this in the recycling bin once you get the pin unpacked. Uh, and all it really comes with is just a cardboard separator here, a little bit of instructions uh, or warranty policy. Sorry, I guess we'll do it that way. Maybe that'll pop up for you. And then um, the ink cartridge itself, which is already inside the pen. I would open it up, but unfortunately, uh, I, again, I've been already using it. So if I were to unscrew this, it would be in there. You can see the little window here, uh, but it's a little opaque right now because the ink is kind of dark blue. All right, so and a quick look at the pen itself. Again, I'm a huge fan. I do really like the color um, being that neon kind of obnoxious yellow. Uh, I dig it, but they have a bunch of different colors for, uh, you know, different tastes. I've seen, you know, red, yellow, black, blue, orange, pretty much everything you could imagine. But this one just stood out to me. thought it was pretty cool. Um, grab it in my bag and I know that it's the fountain pen. Uh, again, being kind of new to fountain pens, uh, there are some probably more technical reviews out there. I just wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions. Uh, and I'm a, a huge fan. I feel like it's built pretty well. Um, sturdy construction. It does post very well and it doesn't affect the balance too, too much. Uh, I kind of do half and half. I'll probably post it half the time. I do appreciate a pen that does give you this ability just because then you don't have to worry about where to stow the cap. Uh, you can just worry about what you're going to write. Um, it is a fine nib, as I mentioned, that's what I got. And I really like that. You can see it's not too fine. Uh, I would probably maybe say this is more of a medium on a typical pen nib. But the cool thing about the fine nib here is it still gives you a finer, um, font then obviously if you got a medium lamy but it writes like a medium and the fact that it's not as i guess scratchy would be the technical term um, but i appreciate that it is a steel nib um, some people kind of that's a complaint but for me an entry-level fountain pen no complaints here it's not a fussy metal so you don't have to worry too much about it um, it's obviously not as awesome as some of the finer metals but i don't know those intricacies yet because i'm still kind of in the beginning um, stages of the fountain pen game but i dig it i really do appreciate the triangle grip hold here as you can see there's little indents i i like that a lot um i have read some people they don't they're not a fan i feel like it fits pretty well in my hand and being new to fountain pens helps me guide the point in the right direction for lack of a better term so it helps me get that angle right because without this sometimes i mean you might be writing in different um, degrees there and maybe not getting the proper ink flow so for a noob like me I really enjoy it and it doesn't obstruct my writing ability too much. Again, I like the cap, um, lid, posts on, does have a decent closure, uh, which you may be able to hear there. It does not screw, um, which for fountain pens, I guess for some people that would be an issue. I haven't had any leakage issues with this, but I do keep it in my bag this way. So obviously it's not gonna leak on me or hopefully it won't leak on me or you either. Um, but I haven't had any issues with that. You know, opening the cap, there's not like, ink draining out or anything. And this does come with the ink cartridge in blue. Uh, and you can also get a converter kit. So that way you can refill it with your own inks or you can just buy Lamy's refill cartridges. I like the option of that. I think it's really cool. Again, being new to, to the fountain pens, I like that it's as simple as plugging it in there, screwing it on and you're good to go and start writing right away. Um, I haven't had to like draw and scratch to get it to start writing. Usually it writes right away, which I also really appreciate. And I'm excited to get the converter and start using my own inks. So maybe I'll check back on that when I, when I do that with you guys. Um, but just to give you a view of all angles there. Again, I'm, I'm a definite fan. I, I really enjoy the bright color. I enjoy writing with it actually way more than I thought I would. Uh, I tend to be more of a traditional 
pen person myself. I think I digressed a little bit, but I do enjoy the packaging as well. I think this is very stylized for, oh, 37. I don't think I paid that much, honestly. Uh, I think it was mid twenties, but that was the price on the packaging. You can see 37 and the model number is L13YWF, the F being for fine. Just a little additional look. Cool. And it is made in Germany. Another cool thing. You can see how precise they are uh, in their precision. <laughs> and I believe I covered all that already. And what I'll just do is just write a couple of words. I apologize. I have terrible handwriting. And also I'm not, again, the most eloquent of pen writers. But I'll just write a couple of test words. And you can see I'm not posting the cap, even though I'm talking about it. I like doing that. Um, test. You can see I haven't written with this probably in a day or two and being able to just pick it up and start writing with it right away. Like I said, you don't have to really lead out the ink or anything like that. I really enjoy writing with it on this paper. And this is the Field Notes 80-page uh, steno book. It's nothing, it's not like super crazy paper or anything like that. I know Brodia's and stuff like, you know, claim awesome papers and I've written on some other stuff with this, but this just feels really, really good to me. So I wanted to kind of point that out too, but I'm also a Field Notes fan as I've mentioned in other videos. Um, but hopefully it just gives you a... You can see there's not really too much bleed through on this paper. Obviously it depends on the weight that you're pushing down and you can see it does smear a little bit, um, but that's more the ink than the pen and I'm writing a little bit heavy. Uh, you could definitely go lighter. It doesn't have very many um, degrees. I guess there's a little bit of variance there. Uh, you can see, I might actually be running out of ink because I've been writing with it so much. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, maybe I'm just pushing too hard sideways. But yeah, I really dig it. Um, I think it's an awesome pen. And if you guys are in the market for an entry level pen or uh, entry level fountain pen, excuse me, or just something to kind of throw in your bag and keep with you and kind of play around with and figure, figure it out as you go, as I'm doing at least, I definitely recommend the Lamy Safari. And again, you know, they have pretty much every color out there to suit all of the, the needs you could possibly want. But that's just a quick look, in my opinions, on the, the Lamy Safari. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe or ask any questions that you have down in the comments below. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to come hang out, and welcome to the Enthusiast Experiment.